oh, 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 hello there. Um, we have a book for you today called Who Would Like a Christmas Tree? And it's a tree for all seasons by Ellen Bryan Obed and illustrated by Ann Hunter. And here's a picture of it in case you would like to find it at your store library. And who would like a Christmas tree? Hmm. And it says, who would like a Christmas tree in January? And we have some birds and deer around it and a fox in the bottom. We would like a Christmas tree in January, answered the black cape chickadees. Our breakfast, lunch, and supper are in the Christmas tree. We hang upside down to look for the moth eggs and little spiders hidden under the bark. We like to peck what's left over from the cones that were growing high in the tree. We find winged seeds in a crispy brown scales. What a feast. At night we roost together in the, in the thick branches. We are tired from eating all day, so we fluff up our feathers and we go to sleep. Who would like a Christmas tree in February? We would like a Christmas tree in February, answered the field mice. We scurry along our secret wintry runways in the plantation. We never hibernate. When we come to the trunk of a Christmas tree, we stop to nibble and gnaw. The bark is delicious. Besides, this is a comfortable place to eat, for no one can see us here, not the fox or owl or the Christmas tree farmer. We are safe under a roof of snow. Who would like a Christmas tree in March? We would like a Christmas tree in March, answered the white-tailed deer. We are tired of being deep in the woods. We come out to the edge of the plantation to have a look around. We walk the rows and eat up and down the sides of the big trees. The first year branches are very tender. The snow is beginning to melt, so we eat the tops of the young trees too. We snack early in the morning and late in the day. We are bucks, does, and fawns feeding together in small groups. We take our time, why hurry? It's easy trails and easy eating in the Christmas tree plantation. Who would like a Christmas tree in April? We would like a Christmas tree in April, answered the woodcock. The plantation is our singing grounds. We call just before dawn and again just after sunset from our low places in the grass. We are the male woodcock. We perform song flights to attract our mates, spiraling up in the evening air um, 100 meters into the sky. We all start to descend. We make excited chirps. Then we zigzag silently downward, diving and falling to a safe and quiet landing near the Christmas tree. Who would like a Christmas tree in May? I would like a Christmas tree in May, answers the robin. I like to perch on the top of the Christmas tree and sing when the sun is coming up and when the sun is going down. From here I also look for food, caterpillars, worms, beetles, flies, and spiders. I hop everywhere on the ground near the trees, pulling up earthworms and grabbing bugs. I fly off with my bill full of food for my babies. They are waiting in the nest hidden in the hedgerow uh, next to the plantation. And you can see them there. Who would like a Christmas tree in June? We would like a Christmas tree in June, answered the psalm uh, twig aphids. We come out of our tiny eggs that have been attached to the psalm fir twigs all winter and spring. We are pale yellow nymphs no bigger than the point of a pencil. We feed on the underside of old needles. Soon there are more of us, we move inside the bud. And more of us, we feed on new needles. And more of us, now we are a colony of winged and wingless aphids. We are covered with white waxy wool and sticky honeydew that smells like brown sugar. You can see him there. Who will... 
would like a Christmas tree in July. <clears throat> we would like a Christmas tree in July, answered the wildflowers. The soil where Christmas trees grow is the soil where we like to grow. Lots and lots of us crowd together between the rows and under the trees. Daisies and dandelions, smartweed and binderweed, shepherd's purse and Queen Anne's lace, evening primrose, wild radish and grasses, many kinds of grasses. We are everywhere and decorate the plantation with sweet blossoms and color. Who would like a Christmas tree in August? We would like a Christmas tree in August, answered the monarch butterflies. We have spent our summer in the milkweeds that grow among the Christmas trees. We came out of our eggs from under the long, thick leaves. As caterpillars, we fed the leaves, buds, and milky juice. We hung from the plants in the green, golden, spotted chrysalises. Now we are out and we are beautiful. All of us are getting ready to migrate south, but first we feed on flowers and the rest rest like delicate black and orange ornaments on the milky weeds and Christmas trees. Who would like to be my, uh, like a Christmas tree in September? I would like a Christmas tree in September, answers the black and yellow garden spider. I make my web between a row of Christmas trees where there is plenty of sun and little wind. I attach it to a tree on either side, then I spin the thick crisscross pattern up and down the middle so birds will not accidentally fly into my silky home. I am interested in insects, not birds. Besides, I don't want to spend my time repairing a bird's uh, rip. After I spin my web, I rest quietly in the center. I wait for a bee or a grasshopper or a fly. I, ca I catch and eat as many insects as I can. For soon I will lay my eggs, and I will spin a sack to protect them through the winter, and I will make the sack of many layers of silk. It has to be tough to hold 500 eggs. You can see the spider there in the web. Who would like a Christmas tree in October? I would like a Christmas tree in October, answers the red fox. I could eat lots of things that live in the Christmas tree plantation in the fall. Grasshoppers, crickets, little sparrows, a late crop of clover, but I come for mice. I can tell you that plantation is full of mice. I know because I come here often. I hear them, I smell them, I see them. I hunt by myself. I walk through the rows of trees without a sound. Tiptoe pounce, tiptoe pounce, tiptoe pounce. And there's a fox there. Who would like a Christmas tree in November? We would like a Christmas tree in November, answer the wild turkeys. We are Tom's hands and poults, clucking and purring. We search for food in the plantation. There are 18 of us in our flock. We scratch for seeds, peck at roots, and eat grasses. We take dust baths to rid our feathers of mites. We also look for a mound of ants when the days are warm. We find them between the rows of trees. We scratch open the hills and eat the ants. Then we amble off to the nearby woods to fill up on acorns. And who would like a Christmas tree in December? We would like a Christmas tree in December, answer the children and the parents. We go into the plantation to pick out our tree. We pull on it, on, it on a sled back to the warming shed. Then we pay the farmer sip hot cider and share spicy Christmas cookies. The farmer helps us tie the tree to the roof of our car. We hope you enjoy your Christmas tree, says, uh, she says as we wave goodbye. We will, we answer all together. We will, as they put up the Christmas tree. And in the back, they talk about each month and what a Christmas tree is like and who lives around it. We hope you enjoyed that story, and now you know about Christmas trees are used all year. We hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Ho, 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 ho.